before that i will like i would like to introduce a with a video of my uh, company and it's an uh, video So these were some of the uh, products of our company, which we are basically developing for the home automation. And uh, we were, we are the one of the uh, uh, good, you know, good inventors and good, uh, you can say, uh, good competitors in that uh, in the area. So myself is Dr. Gorovarma, and uh, as uh, already uh, Dr. Pratika Stana has uh, pro provided my introduction, so I will not uh, uh, provide uh, this thing. And uh, next is uh, let's uh, see that what we are going to discuss presentation. So uh, this is about the Marvino technologies that what we are going to uh, build in the future and uh, focus areas of the Marvino technologies and the status of the India in research and innovation, which is important to discuss. And uh, then uh, we have a Marvino Trinity program, and uh, this Trinity program is very important for the academic institutions and. Uh, uh, for the industrial purpose of purpose and for marginal technologies also. And uh, uh, with the collaboration of the industries, uh, with the collaboration of the uh, academic institutions, professors and the students, we can develop a very good things. And next is you the product development process, like how a product is developed in a industry. It is uh, just a little introduction of it. And uh, next is your case study, the, whatever the marginal has developed in its uh, R&D center, we will show you that uh, what is it, what are these things and uh, next uh, some more um, more uh, uh, about more products uh, we will show you that which are important uh, to understand as a point of prototype and next is your material and resources and material and resources is basically which are very much important to discuss whenever we, we are going to design the outer look of the product so outer look of product uh, impacts the market too much and uh, our outer look of the product also depends on the materials that what type of the materials we are going to take which will, what type of the materials we are we will use to uh, fabricate our product so such kind of the resources and materials which uh, is a uh, need to be discussed here next is a uh, so now this is our focus area we uh, we started our things with the automation and uh, we have uh, do, we have done a lot of projects in the automation and uh, it, uh, it is basically it reduces the human intervention in the process and it provides a home uh, so i have already discussed it that this is the home automation banking automation some laboratory automation is also there so in the in a college of uh, maharaja Agarasen institute of technology we have provided a laboratory automation and uh, in a, we we can all we have all we are also working on broadcast automation in some building automation so uh, we are generally we have we are the basic company which are uh, the basic product of our company is our automation uh, is in our automation. So next is uh, the IoT. So we are doing the work in the IoT domain, and uh, we, for that case uh, we are developing our own cloud for the IoT platform, and uh, we are uh, uh, we are try we are trying to develop a IoT platform which generally suits to each and every type of the application. So next is the devices so and on the iot we are using the devices definitely these devices are coming from the taiwan and the singapore kind of companies uh, uh, and uh, industries and uh, china is also working on these things and india is now also working on this and the development of the iot devices for example it is developing the, the devices for the wi-fi and uh, for the wi-fi communication and the gps and the gprs communication and in the networking, we are working for that uh, case uh, even for the hybrid architectures, hybrid networking architectures. In the device intelligence, we are working in four domains. In the device intelligence, we are working for the voice automation. And uh, in the, you can say, a voice, uh, 
voice enabled things and our devices are compatible with the voice uh, voice automation and uh, uh, voice assistance type of things and uh, it is very useful for the for the uh, luxurious products and uh, it is very useful for whenever we need a product like alexa and google our marvino is also developing its own voice control devices so uh, we are the next company we may be the next company in um, those who will provide the next uh, voice automation circuits so next is the vision vision is very important and uh, in our case uh, we are working in the uh, digital signal processing for the uh, and uh, artificial intelligence and uh, machine learning uh, machine learning machine learning devices which are uh, which generally see uh, see the uh, which are we are using these devices for the home automation in the home automation these devices are uh, used to monitor the uh, activities of the users and uh, activity of the on the base of the activity the devices takes the decision so data is also there for the device intelligence and a lot of the data for the future is important in that case right so exploration is basically a research on the idea concept work architecture exploration and feasibility study so this type of research i can say before starting any any of the plan any of the thing um, any of the product we should go with this type of uh, this type of feasibility study so uh, whether our research is appropriate or not whether our concept of work is uh, meeting the uh, global level standards or not whether our, whether our architecture exploration this means of uh, whatever we have developed is uh, according to the industrial scenario or uh, humanity scenario and society scenario so this type of the architecture exploration is important feasibility study means it's if it is a will the product will go to the market and uh, what will what will be the rejection rate what will be the acceptance rate of the product so this type of things are important when we are going to the exploration requirements and planning so in the phase one when these type of things happens then we come to know that which type of product we need to develop so at that case in we have we need to develop a project plan to successful develop a complete product and in that case what type of requirements will be needed and which type of risk analysis is there is uh, developed by the teams which those who are developed in these cases next is the detailed design so it is divided and it may be decided they are divided into two, into more of this so uh, to develop a successful output so before discussing this thing detailed design i would like to uh, introduce a word it is time to market so in time to market is important so whenever we need a product uh, within a year within a three month or months or year within a year single year so it will definitely increase the process time it will sorry uh, increase the uh, you can say it will i can say the performance of the system may be compromised in that case okay so for that case we what we do exactly we generally adopt uh, the things which are already in the market we just assemble these things we put the idea in the software cases and all and then we uh, provide the data to whatever the, uh, the uh, whatever our uh, team leaders to our uh, society managers and all so here we need to discuss about architecture technology feasibility prototype one means in that case you will need to design build and test and in the case of the second prototype you will just uh, find whatever the problems in the prototype one you will encounter this prototype one uh, the problems of prototype one and uh, you just provide a new version of the prototype two so here there is a two there are three things one is software that which type of the so software we need we are going to use what will be the system block what will be the sequence and the state diagram of a particular software and which type of the firmware which type of servers we will use so these type thing these type of things we use we generally use in a software and in hardware case 
the breadboarding of high risk subsystems and major component definition is defined okay so now the test whenever when the when these two things are uh, the feasibility of these two things are appropriately defined then we go to the test condition and in that case we find the high risk areas high risk areas means in the case of the technology whenever we are going to dis, uh, to define any technology then which type of problems may come and where the more uh, problematic case we have to uh, face in the designing process so here i can give you an example when we are going to develop our product of home automation then the problem of uh, voice automation will come and uh, voice assistance uh, will, uh, at that time came and in that in that voice assistance we need to define the product for our uh, alexa and google app so in that case we have to dependent on the alexa and the google app many times it was happened that, that alexa stopped the stopped its server and uh, the our devices going going went into the blank mode so then we have to decide that we need to uh, develop our own uh, you can say own voice assistance module so but because we need to develop our product within a, a eight months of module eight months of the uh, time so we need to develop it with, uh, develop it with the alex and google so that is good for the prototype development it is good when we are going to uh, develop a prototype that then at that time it will it will be good and it may provide good results but at long time it may provide a harm uh, very problematic case for you so many students those who want to develop their entrepreneurship and uh, develop their own products i would like to say you that these type of feasibility studies are important whenever they start to do something in the prototype one the design and build and test these three things are important so software is the core functionality implementation and hardware and the prototype one units with the rapid prototype so what we need to do here in the to prototype one we have very less time to provide that uh, functional uh, functional block functional uh, you can say functional product to the higher management or something so in that case we need to use the uh, boards the already developed boards for example uh, whenever we say uh, our uh, final year projects or third year projects or something like that so in that case the student generally opt for the ordino right so and uh, because ordino can provide uh, you the best possible things which are uh, which can be used here so here he do not go in the pcb designing and all which he should go and uh, uh, this is this will come a very rapid designing so this type of designing can be considered in the prototype one but in the industry this type prototype one is also at great considerable level so in that case in the test are engineering confidence test and unit test so this type of test are conducted in the prototype one in the prototype two we have full featured implementation so we have already here till now we have already developed a prot prototype which is completely functional and uh, it is good for the pro uh, good for the production but still it is not for it is not, it cannot be given in the production so uh, so what we have to do in that case we have to define a full feature implementation and then prototype two units with production and representative materials and processes then we decide that which type of the uh, outer material will be there which type of the box will be there and then we go to the test and engineering and uh, in that case engineering confidence test and integration test are successfully done so after that designing process of a product we just switch to the another thing and it is design verification and design transfer so now the, uh, the software part of it provide a design 
complete thing and uh, uh, then we can fix the software at that end we will fix the hardware part at that end and here we just go through the design verification test so in that case we find it's a uh, uh, it's all features are working or not it is compatible with the uh, target application or not so such kind of uh, test uh, design verification tests are done in the in this test so after that a production is which is uh, after after completion of the complete product prototype and th that can be transferred to the production department and here a production can be started so that is the whole product development process and it is very important slide and then uh, make a prototype after this study after after the th all the three points then you will go to the point of making of the prototype and after making the prototype go to a rigorous test and uh, valid and validation process so now the product of mavino came here in the picture and uh, this product uh, we made uh, a long time ago and uh, in that case you can see that uh, there is a starter light and it is a prototype okay this product uh, prototype was developed after the Uri attack on kashmir to save soldier carrying torch light and uh, who is the primary target of the militants and the concept to develop a prototype to assist a soldier to secure a place of from a distance of the 500 meter and uh, Enhanced the prototype could be replaced along with the gun and the uh, or the camera for high security. So here you can see that uh, there is a simple torch. You can see there is a simple torch and there is a mechanism and on which this uh, this mechanism can be located here uh, from um, around uh, 90 degree and uh, uh, similarly it can be uh, seen from up and down and uh, there is a battery section and there is a RF section and this RF section is for the RF communication so this uh, torch was uh, the first uh, prototype and uh, and uh, provided to the uh, mil uh, military area uh, so that uh, they can use it and they can uh, find that what are the possibilities with this and uh, here so this can be enhanced with a particular gun and they can be controlled with a distance of the 500 meter and many lives can be saved with this product. So uh, we make a range of the uh, 800 meters as for our precautions uh, for, and uh, that can be easily used with a distance at a distance of the 500 meters and we can use it and uh, it is it, this uh, product was developed with a commercial of the shelves and uh, this uh, was completed in three months. So these were the some of the technical specifications which we uh, made before the uh, development of the product. So, and uh, here you can see that uh, we have uh, some of the key products which were used in the uh, st starter light and it is nano LED torch light, servo motors and fly sky which is a tra RC transmitter which is generally used with the uh, with your uh, your drones, drone type of the circuit, uh, and uh, next is and slight lead acid battery, and uh, it was a 4 volt 4.5 amperes, and uh, here you can see that uh, this is the these are these specifications were used uh, for the first prototyping process, and uh, you can see that this is already developed RC transmitter, and for the first prototyping process we have used it. And the another thing is that servo motor, and which it is also used with the this prototype of the product. The point is this: that if we have more time with this, then we can develop our own R, own RC transmitters, and we can develop our own batteries according to the need of the product. So here are the some features of it. So high power rechargeable nano torch was there and uh, up to 80 percent more efficient than traditional outdoor light bulbs and up to 50 percent less energy as 150 watt and two bulb uh, typical outdoor flood, uh, flood lights 
so this is the transmitter and uh, this transmitter and is the, is the rem is a completely used by fly sky fs6 and in this case we can see that its range is up to 500 meters and uh, uh, you can say line of sight contact is not necessary for this uh, type of the transmitter so line of sight transmitting is uh, is important when, when we were uh, designing this type of program so this was the battery bank module where two batteries were integrated and have a different type of uh, structures and a different type of power modules. So that is about the demonstration mode video. It is going up and down. We have tested in the lab. So how is it working? And you can see that light also can be controlled. And it can be used by any soldier. It is a demo video. And uh, uh, you can see that it can be used by the uh, by any of the one. So such type of things are there. So for CNC machine, uh, made 3D is there, concept reality is there. So such kind of companies are used for can be you can go with for the CNC machining. And for the prototype, injection molding, and uh, model in solutions, Enco. So these companies are providing very good solutions when you are going with the a mechanical part design. So here, so if our electronic prototype has some of the concerns, for example, if the are the whatever the prototype is developed is for the hobbyist or is for the evaluation purpose or for some technical purpose, such kind of things are there. And in that case, you can see that hobbyist boards from Spark for Adafruit, Arduino, and these type of things are available. Or, the, or Raspberry Pi. So this type of the boards can be used for the obviously for the uh, concept for the proof of the concept investigation that, that mostly students does actually. So evolution of the boards from the semiconductor manufacturers, they're great for getting the form for your firmware team up. So whenever we have some boards, then we need to develop a firmware and this firmware has uh, too much value because of, if we are, without any firmware, don't know any kind of the prototype can be developed. So you don't think about it that my that Arduino is not mine. The firmware is important and this firmware you have developed and it can be used for many purposes, for different purposes. And uh, in the models, you have gum sticks, the, uh, the very style, very side file tape for the embedded computing platforms. And uh, if you want to use the Wi-Fi modules, you have Bluetooth, Bluetooth, Bluetooth modules. And uh, so radio modules can be used, for example, your ESP32 and all, and it can be used for the prototyping and in the low uh, and low to medium volume production. Means if you want to just produce only 100 pieces, 10 pieces, or something like that, then less than 100 pieces, it is good to use such kind of already made uh, devices and modules. So in the semi customized boards, some gum sticks, capital. Uh, can be used for the semi customized boards. Sometimes uh, there are uh, some of the boards, uh, for example, Voltex and uh, sometimes the Spartan kits are also used uh, for the fast prototyping uh, whenever we are going to design any circuit. Okay, so batteries, whenever uh, uh, concern of the batteries are there, then we need to uh, we need to have the power, and for that case, we need to find some batteries of the uh, lithium polymer and lithium polymer batteries can be easily used for the high density electronic uh, uh, electrical energy with them. So here we have some batteries. Okay. Next is your electronics prototyping. So in that